Hello, viewers! It is I, Ethan Lettuce, back here in the land of Middle-earth. And in the brief moments I had to myself, between the documentation of the beginning of my journey, I thought to myself, stumbling upon that cave could not have been an accident. It must have been fate. Clearly, some someone or something wanted me back in this land, because this is where I truly belong. But I'm not quite sure where exactly I belong in this strange new world. So that is what my journey is all about. We must go on an epic journey across this land to search for some sort of people that will take me in and I know that will truly belong. And these hobbits have treated me well, but I believe it is time to leave the Shire behind and truly find where I belong. So I'm bringing you here with me once again to document my epic journey as I find as I find where I fit in. So let us begin our journey. I believe if I check my map, we must head to Eridor. Er Eridor. That is where we shall begin. But first, as a tribute to these amazing hobbits who treated me well in the beginning of my journey, I shall sleep in the bed one last time, and then we shall take off to find to find where I fit in. Let's go. I know, I know there's greatness waiting for me along the horizon. I just have to discover it. These hobbits, thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Uh, Daisy, thank you. I know it's dangerous business, but... I have to do it. I have to find where I fit in. I have to. Oh, a horse. If only there was some... Some way I could... I could craft myself a saddle. Maybe there is. Let's try. No. That is not it. Oh well. We shall leave this herd of horses behind and continue our journey. Maybe stop along a few houses for the way. Make sure we're going in the right direction. Are we going in the right direction? I believe we are, according to my map. I think we're heading the right way. <clears throat> Hopefully in Eridor we can find find this uh, population and and discuss discuss our plans with them. But for now, let us continue our journey. It's gonna be long and tiring. But it will be worth it. Aha! A tavern! This should provide me with a little bit more supplies before I leave the Shire here. Can never be underprepared. Now where is the entrance to this place? Aha! The dancing wizard. Maybe the townsfolk can help me with some advice for my journey. May the hair on your toes never fall out. Well thank you, meant the green hand. It is time for second breakfast. Ah, hi, that was a couple couple hours ago, I don't know. Let's see. Hello, hello, Halfast Chub. Good day to you, too. And I'm doing great, Anne Wise. How are you? Okay. Ma'am, back here, any advice? Uh huh. Uh, no, uh, your friend over there asked me the same question. It's way past second breakfast. You, sir. I'd like to talk to you. Silver coins for your dinner? Well, why don't we do a bit of trading, sir? What can you sell me? Hobbit oven? Gammon? Pipeweed? Cooked chicken? Cooked fish? For, well, that's quite a lot. Quite a lot of coins you're selling there, sir. Uh, well, if you turn around for a second. Thank you, uh, here you go, sir. I happen to have one of these right now. Oh, you're buying those. Oh, yes, I have one of those for you. Sir? Fine. If you don't want to buy my product, I'll just, uh, put this back there. Let's see. I'll take a bit of ale, thank you. This will come come quite in handy on my journey. The long rough nights ahead of us. Well thank you, people of, the, of this tavern. Uh, you've given me much good advice on my journey ahead. Thank you. Aha! A small house. Maybe I can talk to these these last little hobbits before I leave this town. See what they have to say about my journey. Shortcuts make for long delays. That is very true. Thank you, Wiseman Diggle. And you, ma'am. May the hair on your toes never fall out. You too. 
Oh, you two, you're married, I see. The sack full of Bagginses came for lunch yesterday. Now I can't find any of my plates nor my mugs. Well, it's just... <laughs> May the hairs on your toes never fall out either, Sanko. Look at this. You've got a beautiful, beautiful house here. Quite enjoy it. I promise I won't take anything. Because I've been beginning to feel a change of heart. The hobbits in the Shire are far too nice. There's no rush for me to get out of the Shire here. So I think, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stay and I'm gonna commit as many good deeds with these hobbits as I can. And then once I feel that I've pleased these hobbits, then I can move on to the next, next area of Middle Earth. And maybe I can make all of Middle Earth a better, a better place. But for now, I'm gonna take a quick rest. And maybe in the morning, I'll feel, I'll feel different. Nope, morning time. Still feel the same. It's time to do some good deeds for some hobbits, I think. You know what? These hobbits are too nice, and they really deserve a helping hand. So let's head over to this this nearby tavern. But first, let's talk to all the townsfolk. Oh, I'm doing great, thank you. How are you doing? Oh, okay, you don't talk after that. <laughs> Aha, this tavern. Maybe there'll be people that can help. You know, maybe my journey doesn't have to be so, so ahead of schedule. I can take a nice little break. May the hair on your toes never fall out either, Barilla. And the road does go on and on. Let's check out this tavern. Oh, so many hobbits. Such nice, friendly people. Hello, sir. Oh! Yes, I could most definitely bring you a, a parry, sir. I might even have one on myself. Oh, I, I don't seem to have any on me. Unless this is what you're looking for. Your throat is turning to stone. Oh, I'm so sorry, sir. One parry. Coming right up. Oh, man. I gotta go help out Alderid. Is this Perry? No, it's cider. Is this Perry? No, it's cider. What is this? Cider? Cider? Cider, oh no. Tippity tip tap tap. Oh. How about you? Could you trade for some? A hobbit marriage ring? Well, I don't have a huge use for those, but uh, maybe another day. Uh, thanks for your offers. Good day to you too, sir. Ma'am? One cherry liqueur. Um, absolutely, if I if I can find some. Ma'am? You too. Oh, I, I, I am taking so many good deeds, but I don't know where I'm going to find all this stuff. Oh, jeez. This is, this is kind of intense. There's got to be another town, another little house around here with some helpful hobbits inside. Aha! Uh -huh. Maybe the folks over here have, uh, have some ale that they could borrow. Let me borrow. They, it, they all seem like net friendly folks around here, so I'm sure they'll be fine with it. Hello, hello, how are you two today, ma'am? Oh, in need of one bucket. Well, I believe I happen to have a bucket on me. Maybe? Aha. Uh -huh. Well, if I drink myself some milk. Ma'am, where did you go? I have yourself, I have a bucket for you. Aha, uh -huh. here you are. There you go. No problem. There's your bucket. Aha, uh -huh. and a cherry liqueur. This is exactly what we needed. And some ale? Well, we don't need that. I'll take this lettuce. Very good food. Always good to eat. Hello, sir. Eight pear? Well, I'll accept that. Let's see if I can get you some pears, sir. I just happen to have eight pears on me. There you go, sir. Lovely fresh fruit. Most definitely. You two have a good day. I gotta go get this cherry liqueur to a hobbit in mead. Thank you. Alrighty, then. This place is way better than I thought it would. I thought I thought that my only purpose in this life was to find find where I, I came from and what my role in this land was, but maybe maybe my true purpose is to help these hobbits out. Aha, here's your cherry liqueur, ma'am. There you go. Have a nice day. Sir, I'm afraid that I do not know if I can get you any parry, sir. Uh, I'll be sure to I'll be sure to get it to you if I can. Please, please don't get angry. Okay, let's uh, let's continue our journey in search of hobbits who 
could use a helping hand. Uh, this is so much fun. Maybe even I can get myself a saddle and ride one of these horses. Maybe one day. Good day to you too, Peony. Welcome to the chart. Well, thank you. Welcome to the chart. Oh, thanks. <laughs> Welcome. Wow, everybody is just so welcoming here. This is why. This is why I just can't leave yet. I'm doing good. How are you? <laughs> the road goes on and on. Yes, it does. Good day to you too, sir. Oh, let's let's uh, continue our search. Maybe we can find some more hobbits in need, or uh, another family, or two. Man, this shire is stretches on and on. Oh, hello, sir. Uh, that is a lovely horse you have there. <laughs> what is your name? Ah, meal it. Let me know if I'll, I'll be sure to let you know if I see anything. Don't you worry. Oh, hello there. I'm doing good, thank you. How are you? Yeah, all right. Aha, tons of Hobbit and another tavern. This is perfect. There's gonna be so many people I can help. Aha, look at all these sheriffs down here with their nice little hats. Hello, sir. Oh, can you bring me three apple crumble? Well, of course, sir. What about you? The lack of food is the worst. Yes, it is. Have you seen any troublemakers? No, sir. I, yes, you do. You do a great job, sir. And thank you for your duties. Whew. Ooh, that kind of hurt. Gotta watch my step. <laughs> Alrighty, let's hop into this tavern up here. Look at all these hobbits. They're everywhere. This place is packed. Hello, sir. Good day. Good day to you, too. You know what? I didn't even check. Do I have any apple crumble for that man? I don't seem to. Hello, you two. It is dangerous business. Hello? Hobbit holes. Yes, they are. Welcome to the Shire. Thank you. Alrighty then. Hi. I'm doing good. How are you? Oh, hello. Is it time for second breakfast? Not quite. <laughs> this ale is delicious. Oh. What do you want? Uh. No, I'm not drunk. <laughs> uh, sure. Sure, sir. I I'll believe you. <laughs> yep. Hi, Mr. Bartender. Uh. Why don't we why don't we do a bit of trading? Oh yeah. Your your trades are very good, sir, but uh fortunately I don't have anything that you would want. But uh we'll take one of these, thank you. This could come in handy for future trade. De have I spoken to you? Oh, yes, says Miralda. Sorry, I have. <laughs> Look at all these hobbits. So many people and so many people could who could need something. Only Brew for the brave and true comes from the green dragon. I have no idea what that means, sir, but uh, I'm sure I'm sure you're right. Yeah. Uh, uh, why don't I hop into this little house, see if anybody in here needs some help? Oh, hello, you two. How are you doing? Welcome to the shire. Well, thank you, ma'am. Do you need any help? Good day. All oh, right. Okay. I guess if you don't need help, do you mind if I uh, check your kitchen real quick? I uh, need to see if there's anything of use for me. Oh, I'll take that and uh. Thank you. Thank you, you too. L just remember, if you ever need anything, let me know. I'm always here to help. Alrighty then. Man, so many hobbits, so little time. Hello. If you get promoted, yeah, of course. New horses, yay. Alright, yeah, and you do a great job protecting these lands. Nope, not time. Er, yep, second breakfast already passed. <laughs> Why don't I... Uh, I should go up to that windmill, see if anybody needs help there. You never know. <laughs> Always hobbits in need. May they you too. <laughs> Alrighty. Oh, six cherry liqueur. It's been a hard day in the garden. Well, absolutely. I will go get you some cherry liqueur. You just wait here. I'll go, I'll go uh, fetch it from the tavern. Just wait right there. I knew that it, I noticed that there's tons of cherry liqueur in the tavern. Lots of, uh, which is lots of help when I need to help out these hobbits here. You know, I'm doing such a good job. I might even become a sheriff, protecting the lands, helping out hobbits. You never know. Um, I'm gonna need to, uh, take these. It's, it's official. It's official helping hobbit business. Alrighty then, let's, uh, take a couple of these. Thank you. Oh, can I not? Oh, right, I must, uh, take them straight from the tap. Well, there we go. Full of cherry liqueur. Now let us go to that woman in need whose throat is very parched, give her her cherry liqueur, and uh, everything will be right in the world. Well, everything except for all the other people who need saving and help. But that's 
That's what we're here for. Here you go, ma'am. Your cherry liqueur. Ah, no problem. Don't even mention it. Oh, thanks for the coins. I appreciate it. Here, we'll put this in our food chest along with some of this liqueur. I, uh, I decided to categorize my, uh, my pouches. This is specifically for all the food and money I get on my journey. So, uh, that's perfect, because everything works out better. You know what? Lettuce, lettuce is very healthy and very nutritious, so we're going to eat that now. It's very good for us. All right, let us, let us take a look in here. <laughs> lettuce. The road goes on and on. Yes, it does. Anyone up here? No, there's some ale. Some, uh, some food. It's a nice little place. You know what? If I peer out the window, the sun is setting. Perfect place to sleep. But we'll continue our journey on the next episode of the documentation of our journey. So thanks for watching this. I hope you enjoyed this documentation. And we'll see you in the next part of our epic journey.